the love of your life, Marlena. If you insist. I do. Oh. <gasps> Look at that now. I overslept. I'm late for my shift. Why do you do this? Why do you live here in this, this room above a pub kitchen? Uh, I can smell that revolting chowder all the way up here. My God, you know, if you're not happy with the accommodations, you know exactly where the door is. You know very well I have no place else to go. Well, that's what happens when you trust Princess Bingbat to keep the cops away from your private sanctum. When you're right, you're right. I... Now I'm forced to hide out in this hovel like a common criminal. Oh, poor baby. Kate, open up. It's me. Kristen found out that I'm interested in her shares. She, she wants to talk. It sounds like she wants to sell. Well done. Oh, I didn't do anything. I just got lucky. Okay, I'm going to call her back. Well, I would love to listen in on your conversation, but I haven't started my Christmas shopping yet. Gabby still hasn't uh, responded to my message. What if she doesn't take the bait? She took it all right. Hello, Gabby. I was wondering when I'd hear from you. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sorry for the delay. Believe me, I am very interested in what you have to say. See, I'm going to go out for a while. I want to uh, drop off some presents before the Christmas Eve rush starts. Yeah. Whoa, who's the fancy box for? Oh, that gift is for Hope. <laughs> uh, I think I'm overcompensating for my feelings of guilt about asking her to leave. Not to feel guilty about. She overstayed her welcome. Why, yes, she did. And that's what, that's what Kate said as well. What do you know? She's right for once. You know, you were the one who said it was in my imagination. There was no reason that Hope should have this kind of sudden romantic feeling about you. Yeah, I thought the same thing, but you know what? What? You were right. I was? How do you know? Because when you left, she told me so. I'm good, huh? Why would Stefano risk coming back to Salem? Just doesn't make any sense. I don't think he would. You know, my father-in-law thrived on taking chances. Marlena got flowers for Thanksgiving with a card only signed S. Now that's his style. Why didn't I know about this? You didn't tell a car that signed S, it could have been for anyone. Did Marlena received anything else? I don't know. Why don't I go talk to him? It's a great idea. Yeah. You know, uh, if Stefano was in Salem, I fervently hope he's long gone by now. Hey, we got customers. I, I slept late, Robin, okay? Keep your shirt on. You have to get out of here. You have to go by. Well, I can miss all the fun of Roman finding your shirt up with his ex-brother-in-law. Stefano, I'm going to tell him exactly who you are, and then all of your plans going to go up in smoke. You are no fun. Get dressed.
Hotel Turkey Salon. And who were you talking to? I just, I feel stupid that I was taking him with my father again, okay? I was hoping he changed. He's never gonna change. Yeah, I know. I was just... I was hoping that he would, he would just leave my family out of it. If he had anything to do with helping Ralph trying to kill your mother. He's dead to me. I promise. Let's see what he has to say. <sighs> Even without the old man's help, I'm still gonna fry Gabby's little fingers off my family's company. So, what's going on with Kristen? After Christmas, I have to fly to Rome. 